Hey guys, uh, Rick here from the uh, Fultz Bailey Railroad. I wanted to show you guys a modification that I made to my paint booth. If you remember, um, when I got this a while back, it has a uh, plug on the top where you turn on both the lights and the fan on the inside. Well, I wanted to have the ability to have the lights on without the fan, just in case I was looking for something. So I made that mod. Of course, I didn't film it while I was doing it, but I'm going to show it to you now and I'll take it back apart so that uh, you guys can come along. We'll be right back. All right, guys, let me get you down here to my... Uh, my desk, it's not even my workbench. Um, but I got a camera set up where I can show you this thing from the top end and you'll see, uh, you'll see what I see. All right, so here is our um, paint booth. And you can already see from the top, I've added another switch here and that's gonna help me control the fan and the lights separately. So let me show you how I did that. So let's get this guy open. All right, the first thing we gotta do is we gotta get rid of the filters here. There are two of them. And uh, you'll notice everything is on the inside. Uh, there are hookups down here. This is where the LEDs go, over there and over there. And there's a wire here that actually connects those. We'll get that apart. This thing is held together by a piece of plastic that's right there. This piece of plastic can't move. The cage behind it does. And there was one on the top and the bottom. And the only way that I could get around doing this was to take out the bottom part. So all I did was take my rail nippers and I actually got in here and I just cut that whole thing right on out. Once I got that out, then you gotta get rid of these little feet. And then once you've got that done, this just lifts right out. There's the two plugs. There's that, and that's what holds your lights. <clears throat> now you gotta get the grate out. By taking apart these screws. Now you got to remove the fan. And now you can see it's nothing more than a fan and a box. This blue wire that you see here is coming directly from the plug which is hard to see from this angle. But on the top here, the plug has two cables coming from it. One is a red and one is a blue. And those red and blue go to the back of this toggle switch, right? And then from the other side of the toggle switch, there's two cables that come out that go directly to the fan. What I did is I took, there were also, these two cables were also joined in on those two um, clips. Again, all I did was take the clip apart and I pulled those cables out. I took the red wire and I soldered it to the new switch. This wire that comes out of the switch, I just used a T-tap to go into the hard line coming directly off the plug. S the black wire, I just went directly to the blue wire because that's the negative. And it was that simple. Drilled a hole, put the switch in. Now, <laughs> when I plug this guy up, when I turn on the original switch, 
Do you see the fan goes on? <clears throat> if I put the jumper back on here, there's the LED, right? So if I turn on the original switch, just the fan. If I turn on my other switch, the LED. So I can have the LEDs go on and off now, or the fan go on and off now, or I could do both together. And you can see the two feet hold this in place. Well, there you go. That's how it works. Uh, it was a very simple fix. The only problem I had that I was toying over was how to get that section out that held the plugs for the LEDs. Um, I really didn't want to tear into the case, but it turns out I had to, and it was really easy just to get my nail nippers in there, um, or my rail uh, nippers in there, and, and take that piece of plastic out. And uh, as you can see, the feet actually hold that plastic back in, so they sit in the perfect spot. I guess if you could, if you don't plan on going back in there for anything, um, you could just glue that piece back in place. Uh, but if the fan ever breaks or if a wire ever comes loose, you're going to need to get back in and you're going to probably cause more damage, uh, if it was glued. So I'm going to leave it just as is, and, uh, I'm going to get back to painting. I'll see you guys later. And remember, let's ride these rails together. I'll see you rail riders.